there ever be a week that goes by that the Alberta NDP don't have to make announcements and backtrack on one of their failed policies? The latest is the $178 million program that was supposed to create 27,000 jobs. It didn't even create one single job. Oh wait, I'm mistaken. It created the job for the minister overseeing the project, who is currently Darren Billis. Like the many instances we've already witnessed, this plan failed because the Alberta government didn't bother to even consult with anyone before implementing the strategy. The minister himself stated that they cancelled the program after they had received significant feedback from the business community. Feedback that they didn't even bother to gather before running an election campaign based on a proposal that would have never worked in the first place. And keep in mind that this particular plan was the NDP's star on their platform. I will tell you one job creation program that seems to have worked for the NDP though, the increase in public sector employment. Just think of the billions of dollars the taxpayer will owe for pensions and contracts for years and years to come. Think of the operational costs that our government will now borrow to keep up with and will be on the taxpayer's back. And think of all the unemployed people in Edmonton and surrounding areas that suffer without employment insurance extensions because the figures don't tell the real story behind employment numbers being so stable in those regions. They don't tell the story that Rachel Notley and her caucus bloated the public sector so heavily that it cushioned unemployment statistics. The NDP have now promised $10 million to promote startups and create new jobs, but they clearly haven't factored in those small businesses that are suffering as a result of the decline in the oil patch. After all, those businesses do count on oil field workers to keep them afloat and many have had to shut down as a result of the downturn. How will incentives to start a business create even one job when so many are already closing? It sounds like Darren Billis announced another policy that will most certainly fail once again. For the rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.